terrible. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to my uh, camera collection. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean your tape heads on uh, mini DV camcorders specifically. The same process can be used on VHS, VHSC, Hi8, and obviously mini DV. So the camcorder we're working on today is the Sony TRV 900. I actually just got this camera in the mail today of recording this video and the tape heads are dirty. So if you do get a camera that has a uh, glitchy footage while running playback or if it uh, throws maybe like a tape code or something like that has a glitch in the audio or even just doesn't even record to a uh, to the tape at all just shows no footage at all then you got dirty tape heads pretty simple process my good friend taylor showed me how to do this over uh, facetime so if you're watching this taylor thanks for showing me and i'm gonna try and show the rest of the world of what you told me so. It's easiest to take the camera apart um, to kind of open up where the uh, the tape heads are to be able to kind of get in there a lot easier uh, and uh, clean it a lot more efficient. But sometimes it's really hard and you don't, or maybe if you're just uncomfortable with taking a camera apart, that's totally fine. So we'll go over the essentials of what you're going to need here. I recommend getting some, uh, some little screwdrivers like so. You can get packs of them that have flathead ones and uh, Phillips style ones. And the little Phillips ones you will be able to use to unscrew the screws on your camera and be able to take it apart. If you feel comfortable doing that and then the flatheads you can kind of get in between plastic and kind of um, kind of pop it out to be able to take the plastics off. Um, we will be doing that just a little bit today, but you do want those. And then you're gonna want a little cup of some sorts to put all of your screws in so that way you're not losing them because camera screws are very, very small. I am actually just using a Optica uh, DSLR fisheye lens cap <laughs> for mine. Um, it works actually really well for it. You're gonna want some rubber gloves because getting into the tape heads and moving around and stuff like that in there, you don't want the oil of your fingers and stuff uh, getting on anything on the inside of where the tape would be touching. Along with that, you're gonna want some uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Um, you either want 91% or 99%. You are gonna want some cotton swabs or uh, little ear cleaners. Q-tips, that's, that's what I meant to say. Because there is only, there's only one part that will work with these and it works the best for it. Another thing you're gonna want is a couple of unused or brand new paint brushes. You want them to be brand new because you will be dipping it into the alcohol and rubbing it on some things in the inside of the camera. I suggest a flat one like so and then kind of a uh, a long round one like this for two different reasons that I will show you. And last but not least, this is the best way to clean the tape heads, but you can get some little pieces of paper and cut them up like so. Printer paper will work. Um, this is actually sticky note paper. I just took the, uh, I cut off the, the, the piece that has the, the glue on it and threw that away. So I just get the, the rest of the white sticky note. Um, make sure it's white paper. Um, because the, the dye, um, you don't want the dye to get wet and then get on the, the tape heads and all that. So you will want some of that if you can use it. I don't know if I'll be using this today uh, because the main uh, tape head drum is a little hard to get your fingers onto. You want some good light, maybe a headlamp or something to be able to kind of see what you're doing a lot better. And I actually forgot a light for myself. I don't have like a headlamp or anything so I'll just use this little filming light. You do want a tape to be able to test the uh, recording and playback after you have cleaned it. Okay, so first off, what you're gonna do is um, eject your tape, um, if you have one in there. I do not. Um, and then once you have your tape deck open, you wanna go ahead and take your battery out, um, because playing around on the inside of the camera, you can get shocked, so you don't want that on there. So with this TRV900, it does have these little screws here and here. And you're just going to take your little Phillips screwdriver and just go ahead and take those out. So with those two screws out, this little piece actually pops all the way off. And it shows all of the metal that is here. And then you can see everything that is inside the camcorder a little easier. Um, there is a way that you can take off this whole plastic piece here. Um, it's only about five or seven screws. 
but uh, there's lots of uh, ribbon cables and all that that's in there and I'm not confident enough to take this apart yet so um, I'm just going to be showing you this way. So you can see in there there's all of those little rollers that are in there and then you've got a big drum that is right there. That is your main drum head and these are your pinch rollers, these silver ones here and this black one is actually rubber which is actually your capstan roller. So we're going to be cleaning all of this today along with your main tape head drum. Um, there is videos out there that say that you cannot clean or you shouldn't clean the main tape head drum and that's false. You 100% need to clean it and I will show you how to do that at the end. The way that I was shown is a very specific order. We are going to go ahead and start with the capstan roller, which is this black rubber one here. And you're going to go ahead and get your Q-tip and your rubbing alcohol. Okay, so you're going to get your Q-tip and you're going to get your isopropyl alcohol. And you're going to be dipping your Q-tip in the isopropyl alcohol. With your Q-tips, you never want to use one side twice. Um, as soon as it gets dirty and it dries out, flip to the other side and use that side. Once that side gets dirty and dried out, toss it and get yourself a whole new one. And keep repeating this process until your capstan roller is clean. So you can go ahead and pop the lid. Um, if, you do, if, you're, if your bottle is a little low on it, you can always uh, fill um, some kind of container up with it and uh, be able to get to it a lot easier. But this one's pretty full, so you just go ahead and dip it in and get it wet and then you're going to go ahead and shake it off just so it's not completely dripping wet. Okay, so with your capstan roller right here, you're going to go ahead and put your wet Q-tip on there. You're going to go ahead and start from the back and pull towards you and as you do it, you kind of want to roll the capstan roller in a circle, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and you just want to keep rubbing until your Q-tip pretty much dries out. And then you will see that there is usually some blackness or grayness that will come off of it. And that's a lot of the dirt that builds up on the rubber. If you use a lot of different brands of tapes, all tapes have their own kinds of lubrications on the tape. Um, some are wet, some are dry. When they all start mixing together on the same tape heads, that's when it starts to get gunked up and makes your footage look all gross and yucky looking. If you want to switch tapes, um, just make sure you kind of keep the same company. Um, that way you kind of have a consistent lubrication on the uh, the tapes. And that way you're not mixing the lubrications wet and dry and all that kind of fun stuff. It's kind of hard to see, but you can definitely see some blackness that came off of the capstan roller. I cannot get the camera to focus good on it. There, maybe. There you go. You can kind of see the blackness right there that came off of it. So that's that's pretty dirty for that. Um, that can kind of give you uh, the first look on how dirty your tape heads are. So what you're going to do, you're going to keep cleaning that capstan roller until you don't see any more black on your Q-tips. And just keep going. It, is, it can be time consuming. Just take your time and just keep cleaning it really good until you don't see any more black on your Q-tip. Okay, so for our next step, we're gonna be looking at the pinch rollers, which is all of your silver rollers that you see here. So this is where you're going to want your flat paintbrush that you have. Now make sure that it is an unused one or a very very clean one. You don't want to you don't want it to have been used in paint or makeup or anything like that. Just make sure you go out and buy yourself a brand new one. You're gonna go ahead and put this in your isopropyl alcohol as well. And with that it is it holds a lot of moisture so you can kind of just wipe some of it off. You can go ahead in there and just kind of paint the pinch rollers. And just to take your time on these as well and just start from the back and pull forward as well and kind of just, you know, you can't see what's on there, but kind of act like you're trying to flip the debris that's on them off of it. Just kind of flick it around and, you know, you can be a little aggressive with it and just just flip, flip it around and 
try and get all the stuff off of it. You know, get around, you know, all 360 degrees of the of the pinch rollers. The reason why you don't want to use the Q-tips on these is because the little hairs of the cotton um, can snag on things and when you pull it away, it will actually, um, it can damage some parts when it gets snagged on it, especially the video heads when we get to that point. So definitely do not use cotton swabs or Q-tips on your video heads because you can rip the video heads out of the main drum head and that's not good because you have to replace the whole video head, whole drum head, um, if you do that. So then therefore your entire camcorder is useless at that point. Okay, so now on to the main drum uh, video head. Now with this, it does spin and it's really hard to see so i'm gonna try my best to kind of show you here there is the there's two video heads on this guy and you can see right there at the end of my screwdriver is the little video head it's a little piece of copper that actually sticks out of it ever so slightly if you spin it you can see there's another one right there. They're really hard to see. So looking on your camera, you will be able to, if you look for them, they're, they're towards the middle part of it. You can see it. And you'll see it. It'll be, it'll be, you know, the color of copper. So it'll be kind of a brownish orange color. And what you want to do with those is you want to dip this paintbrush, your kind of round one in your isopropyl alcohol and make sure you wipe this one off as well because you don't want it super, super wet. And you're gonna go ahead and go in there and you kinda wanna try and stick, you wanna try and stick the, um, kind of the, the brushes of the paintbrush kind of into the video head and kind of just twist around and flick around and um, any kind of the dirt that's in there, you'll kind of flick it out and you kind of just want to play with it. This is the kind of the hard part because you need to find a way to hold the video head in place so it doesn't spin. So if you want to use like your finger or um, something that's soft and it isn't going to like scratch it or anything like that, you can go ahead and do that. That is why I said to use rubber gloves um, so that way you're not getting your finger uh, your skin oil on it but yeah you can go ahead and hold it and uh, just start um, kind of shoving it into the video head and flicking it out also just take your time with this one as well and you want to get both of the video heads there's one on each side of it okay so after actually cleaning the uh, copper video heads this is the probably the hardest part to do um, if you can't take your camcorder apart. So using your white piece of paper, what you would want to do is dip it into your isopropyl alcohol and then your video head down there or your video drum, you would actually put it in there, hold it against it, and then use something to spin the video drum counterclockwise or clockwise and just clean the surface of it. And then you would be able to pull the piece of paper out and see all the black and you would keep doing the same method putting out some isopropyl alcohol on your piece of paper and then shoving it in there and spinning it and rubbing off all the dirt and everything that's on there until you don't see any more but I can't get my big fat fingers in there another way that you can do it if you can't is you can take your flat or your round paintbrush and dip it into your isopropyl alcohol like you did before with the video heads. Then do the same thing you did with the capstan roller and your pinch rollers and just start from the back and just kind of pull forward and roll the video drum counterclockwise or clockwise as you kind of pull out just to kind of cover the whole surface of it. And again, take your time with it and make sure you get the whole surface real good. This isn't the best way to clean it, but it does work. Um, you just gotta do it, I guess, a, little, a lot more it takes a lot longer to do than using the paper method so that's the method that I'm going to be using because I can't get the paper in there make sure you wipe it off on your glove that way it's not drenched you can just go in there and 
just kind of paint it and just pull out. Make sure you spin it as you do it. Okay, so once you've cleaned all of that, you want to let your camcorder sit here for about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes to be safe. Just to let it all air out and uh, evaporate and all that and kind of just let everything just dry up. Because if you put your tape in while it's all still wet, uh, your camcorder is going to throw air codes and stuff and think that there's something wrong. Just let it dry for a little while and then come back to it and you can put it back together, um, throw a tape in, put your battery in and see if it works. And if it didn't work and you still have glitchy footage, then you may or may not have, you, you most likely didn't clean it all good enough. So you can always take it back apart and try it again. And just make sure you clean everything real good. And if it keeps doing it, you just gotta keep cleaning it and make sure that you just get it nice and clean because there's a lot of dirt in here that you can't see. Sometimes it's it's real time consuming and you just gotta kinda be to be determined and stick with it and eventually they will actually work. Another thing that you don't want to do, if you see any dust or anything that's inside of the camcorder, do not blow in there with like your, your mouth because your breath does have condensation. So the condensation will land on stuff in there and that takes a lot longer for it to uh, dry up than the isopropyl alcohol. So it can really throw some codes for a while if it does that. And one thing that you can get though is like the, um, the little uh, spray air cans uh, you use for like uh, computer keyboards and stuff to blow the dust out and stuff. You can use that and kind of blow everything out and that will help it not have condensation and kind of get some of the other dirt and stuff that you can't get to that's elsewhere inside the camera because it obviously opens up to the, to the elements of wherever you are. So now you know how to clean your camcorder tape heads. I hope this video was informative and I hope it helped you out. Um, if it did, make sure you like this video, and if you like the content, make sure you subscribe because I post weekly content on old school camcorders. And on that note, you have a good one.